Hey everyone, today I'm going to be doing my October favorites video and I haven't done a favorites video in literally the longest time. I can't even remember doing a favorites video. Um, I just decided to do a favorites video because I thought that it would be fun to show you guys some of the new things that I've been trying out and some of the things that I've been liking um, during the fall time. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please give it a thumbs up and let's just go ahead and get started. So I think this has been in a favorites video before, but I have something that I've been using it with. This is my Tarte Amazonian Clay Gifted Mascara, and I love this mascara so much. It is one of my favorites, and I've done this in a favorites video before. I think I did this a while ago, and I really love this mascara, but lately I've actually been using this with a combination, and I've been using the Urban Decay Urban Decay Provision Bigger Blacker Batter Mascara and this gives it really good volume and this is actually just a little sample size and I, the reason why I like these two combinations together is because they are both really wet mascaras and I really like wet mascaras this one is extra wet this one is more um, wet than this one and sometimes wet can be a little annoying because it can get like on your eyelids and stuff but with my opinion I really like wet mascara so I've been loving these two so the next product that I've been using is this Rimmel Match Perfection 2-in-1 Concealer and Highlighter and I've actually had this um, for a little while now and it's almost gone and I really love this this one is in 125 fair what I like about this is it has a little brush applicator and I just put it underneath my eyes with the brush and then use a different brush which I will talk about in a second to blend this together and it's a really nice creamy concealer so I've really been liking this and it is only around three or four dollars so it was really inexpensive and I definitely recommend for you guys to try this. The next thing that I've been loving is not a makeup product, but it has to do with makeup application. And this is actually a brush. It's a double-sided brush. This is just, I'm not exactly sure what brand this is. It just says crown brush. And this is actually a crease and shadow brush. But what I like to do is I don't use this part um, because this is really stiff. I just like to use this part. I can see all like the powder coming up from it. I use this to blend my concealer under my eyes and then I wipe it off on a paper towel or um, a washcloth or something like that and then I use this for my powder just to get right underneath my um, um, under my eyes. So I've really been liking this brush. It is super awesome and super fluffy. Moving on to hair care. Recently I or not recently, but a couple of months ago, maybe in the beginning of September or a little bit, what's January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, October, no, August. So maybe around the end of August, the beginning of September, I got my hair cut and it has grown back dramatically. Um, I got six inches cut off. So I kind of regret cutting it but it was definitely a healthy choice so the two hair products that I've recent that I've been using has been this not your mother's way to grow leave-in conditioner and I started using this so what I do is I just shake it up like this and then I spray it right in my roots after I take in a shower I like lift up my hair and I just spray it all throughout my hair um, because I thought that it wouldn't really help my hair grow down from the bottom because your hair grows from the top so I thought it would just be better to put it in the top and it doesn't make my hair oily or greasy or anything so I really like this and it's actually almost gone this is just the little sample travel size so I'm gonna be getting the bigger size of this soon and then what I use near the ends of my hair is actually something I got in my Ipsy Glam bag as well this is the E E E E at grew. I'm not exactly sure. I actually just got this a couple of days ago, but I have seen that this makes my hair really soft and shiny and it is easy to brush out after I get out of the shower. So back to what I was saying. This is the Ecru, I think it's called. Um, Acacia protein BB cream, something like that. And it's just in this blue um, sample size. All of my Ipsy are sample sizes. So I just put this near the ends of my hair and then put the Not Your Mother's near the roots. So I've just been really liking this. The last hair care product that I've been using is this Revive Beauty Wet Brush. 
What this does is it helps with um, brushing out your hair when it is wet. I don't normally use this when it is dry because it makes my hair a little bit staticky. Um, there's just different, um, I don't know what to say, like levels of the bristles are not even, which I think helps with the breakage. And I used to use a comb, but it, I don't know. I just really like brushes and a lot more bristles. So this is just better than using a regular brush. It's really awesome and I've really been liking it lately. So one of my favorite songs has been Animals by Maroon 5 and I really like this song. Some Maroon song, some Maroon 5 songs can get really annoying um, because once they're like played over, you know, those type of songs that get really annoying. But this one is really good and I like this song a lot. So Love Me Harder is the second song that I've really been liking and this one is by Ariana Grande and I've really been liking her playlist lately. I'm not exactly sure what her playlist is called, but I also like Piano by her. It's a really good song. I hope you guys enjoyed this video on my October favorites. My battery is about to die, so I have to hurry up. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you guys next week. Bye!